And what a spectacular start to this afternoon's sunset safari. Then with the Queen of Juma, Karula herself, lavishing attention on her son, Hosanna. I don't want to, oh, I don't want to tear my eyes away. Very good afternoon to all of you. My name is Jamie. This afternoon, Dave is on camera with me for the first time in forever, Dave. And we've got the most gorgeous sighting in front of us. Now, if you have just joined us for the first time, uh, this is a live safari. So what you're seeing is happening right here and right now on Juma private cameras. <laughs> Look at the expression on his face. <laughs> That is two gorgeous words. He couldn't look happier if he tried. <laughs> this is so beautiful. Affection between mum and her almost one-year-old cub. Ele almost 11 months old, actually, tomorrow. It's their birthday tomorrow. Can't tell if they're growling or purring at each other. Oh, clonk. Mom, thoroughly unimpressed. All right, yes, I'll clean your bottom for you. Oh, it's exhausting work being a single mom. Just got to do everything for your little cubs. <laughs> hey, mom, watch the sensitive bits. <laughs> so gorgeous. <laughs> And a very happy new year, actually, to all of you. I've just realized, sorry, and I'd already forgotten that it was 2017, but happy new year. I'm so glad that we could bring in the new year with such a ooh, special sighting between mom and son. And like all moms with teenage boys, sometimes he gets a little bit much for Karula's patience and temper. She gives him a little bit of a growl. I would also if he whacked me in the face repeatedly. Oh, we were so lucky, you know, because James had called us in. James is one of the trackers out here. James had called us into a sighting with Shungile. And we were actually on our way there, so she's not far away from where we are at all. But then we just happened upon Karula wandering into the road, calling repeatedly for her cubs. And then Hosanna popped out. What are you grabbing a thorn tree for, you silly goose? Hmm. <laughs> Naughty boy. Walk into your mom and then expect her not to bite you. Look at this, he's coming right up to the vehicle. Duck out of the way. Hello, mister. Hello, mister. You are so beautiful. Yes, you are. Karula, you do produce some very lovely sons. You really, really do. Yes, I'm talking about you, gorgeous. You're going to be such a handsome boy when you're older. So this is Hosanna, 11 months old tomorrow. We were fortunate enough to know the exact birth date of Karula's two cubs, Hosanna and Shungile, because Brent actually saw them when they were just a few hours old. And just to update you in terms of Karula and her cubs, it looks as though potentially Shadow might be denning next to Red Dam. So Karula's adult daughter Shadow, it looks as though she might be going to have cubs somewhere around Red Dam. So that is more good news to bring in 2017. New Year's babies, Dave. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, <laughs> so wonderful. So she's not snarling at us, just by the way, for our new viewers, she's just snarling at her son, preemptively at times, when he gets a bit too close and shows signs of looking as though he might actually bonk her in the face again. I can't believe how big he is. Ah, oh, here comes Mum as well. She's snarling at him. Let's try and stay ducked out of the way, this is so cool. Oh, hi Karula. Okay. Fair enough, I suppose this is the best patch of shade. You did come to us though, just a reminder. <laughs> this is cool, hey Dave? That's so awesome. I'll just remember, because this is a live safari, it means that you can send through your questions and you can do that on using the hashtag on Safari Live on Twitter. You'll notice that I'm speaking very, very softly and that's because Karula is now basically on top of us and she's quite... Um, she doesn't like loud noises. She doesn't like loud talking. That's one thing we've learned about her. Which is fair enough. It is her home and it is her space. Goodness gracious, Leopards, would you like to climb into... Don't snarl at me. <laughs> Doing anything. You came to me, not the other way around, my girl. I think she's just snarling at her cub again, preemptively. How fortunate are we that these leopards are as comfortable as they are in our presence? She's 
snarling at him, not at us. Goodness gracious, this is about as close as I think I've ever been to Karula for such an extended period of time. What a fantastic start. <laughs> I'm trying to duck out of your way, but this is so, so cool. Isn't that awesome? Karula right here. Hello, girl. Every time I glance up over my dashboard, I make eye contact with her. It's awesome. And her little baby, who's now gone to sleep right next to us. And that is how fortunate we are. For our new viewers, these are completely 100% wild leopards. Yes. <laughs> she looked up as I said that. So they are 100% wild, um, but they are, however, very comfortable with the presence of the vehicle. So through years and years of ethical guiding, um, Karula's seen safari jeeps since she was very young. They've come to accept that we're not a threat in any way. Well, our leopard pants away in the afternoon heat, and it is hot this afternoon. Let's head over to Taylor to find out what her plans are for the afternoon.